Well, hello there, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting, and we're flying right through Scarland here in Hermitcraft, where in today's episode, I've got a very exciting episode for you. We are going to build the entrance to Scarland. Why does this matter so much? Well, it means we are getting dangerously close to opening the park. And this giant entrance that we're going to build right here is going to eventually have our turnstiles that our redstone handyman will assemble for us. And that means we're hiring our handyman today also. So we're gonna have a big, beautiful building that will encompass this entire field where hermits and eventually you will cross through the turnstiles and enter the happiest place in all of Hermitcraft. I've even got ticket designs that you use in the turnstile and they are incredible and i am just so happy i'm so excited we're getting so very close to opening the park and that means i don't know what that means does that mean it's done no definitely not but it at least means that we've got a chunk of the park done where we can be proud and say come on in and enjoy your day but boy do we still have so much more to do and if you've enjoyed the building process of scarland hit that like button and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. It would mean a ton. Now, besides all of that craziness, I've been busy in the park creating signs. That's right. <laughs> it sounds so mundane, but it does add a little character to the park. So the Scarland Cafe is this building here. So we've got signs designating that. Over in this area, we have our reserved handicap parade seating for our disabled friends. Over here, we have the Scarland Bank. So we accept emeralds and diamonds. Best of all, We've got these little uh, allies here. And if we pop up right here, we get a diamond shower. <laughs> I love it. We get an entire little diamond shower there, which is amazing. And the same on this side, we get an emerald shower. Now, unfortunately, we can't get other people to get the diamonds and emeralds, just me. But if you have any way around that, let me know. Set some signs over here at the Scarland Hotel and Resort. We've got the hotel check-in desk and just continuing to add more and more signs, which leads me to a question for you. What should we name this building? I want to see it in the comments. Let me know what we should name it. Now, of course, this is a toy store. So this is a fun little mysterious toy store with all sorts of fun games in here. And yeah, think about what this building looks like. And as the video goes on, whatever comes to your mind, put it in the comments. And the best one gets that name up at the top with a credit of your name on the sign. You know, I didn't realize that at first, but we're, we're missing a trolley here. And find me at the museum. Oh, Kabaruzis has struck in again. Oh my gosh, he's got an oversized lot in the back of the museum for the artifacts that's too big to fit in the building. And he lobbed off b his poor little head. Look at it there. So cute. Anyway, where's the trolley? Oh, there it is. You know, I just realized I can't re-steal this back. He pulled the museum card. He's hiding behind the museum code of conduct, which means we need to hire a thief to come in here and retake it. That's decked out. He literally chopped the top of decked out off and beat his head. It's a it's a beheading all around today. Wow. That's absolutely crazy. But anyway, I was just sitting here reminiscing over the fact that we have been working on this build for over a year and a half, and we're getting so close. We just need to make a few modifications, maybe move Green's portal back a little bit, give the trees a bit of a haircut, and we'll have room to start building. But we can't really finish it until we hire a redstone handyman here in Scarland. And of course, in our last episode, we put out the call to the hermits to audition for the role. And I've got somebody in mind, and I'll let you know who that is a little later in the episode. What up, Buttercup? You might be wondering, Scar, why are you standing in a giant crater where once your beautiful Buttercup camp was? Well, something happened a few days ago. What is this? Korean, Scar, do you have a bow? Korean, I'm hot guy. Over here, Doc's done the least live, laugh, love thing ever. Grind, optimize, automate, thrive. Yeah. And there's there's a there's a there's a target block. You've got to do it. I was gonna do it, but I didn't have a I didn't have a bow on me. I don't know where mine's gone. Can I just ram it really hard with my head? That's not gonna work. Wait, we can try. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it full speed. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, it did work. What? <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I had no idea. I was just goofing. What I was goofing. It? I have no idea. It's kind of incredible, to be honest with you. Wait, it's coming back now. What is it doing? Oh, no. Oh, no, Green. Green. My tent, Green. Oh, the camp's gone. I only caught like a glimpse of it. Green, we lost the headshot it's of Hawkeye. It's all Hawk gone. No. I'll get you another one. Don't you no, worry, that's mister. Fine. No, you can't replace that. It was it was special. That's fine. No, I, I'll make you an even more Scott, special. It's, honestly, I can't. I couldn't possibly. Oh, it's no worry, that. Green. I promise no, you, I won't Scott, even charge Siri, you. It's fine. Okay, I, you I'll know, get you one really soon. The scar. It's. You know, I, I. You know, I love that, but it's. It, there's just no replacing it. Yeah, that's true. It's true. I get it. I'm trying to rebuild your tent. <laughs> that we were going to go for it, but I didn't know that you could activate target box by ramming into it. Me either. Did you? <laughs> no, I was just joking. It's like, hey, let's ram ourselves into it for jokes and laughs. I'm a fuming mad, I'll tell you that right now. I feel like it was a setup. It was a trap or a setup. Probably the same thing in the dictionary, but... He, mm, 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 he set that up. He knew we would push that button, didn't he? But the buttercups don't take that while they're laying down in a grass field full of petals falling upon their heads. No, no, no. We constructed a brand new HQ. And look at that beautiful cherry blossom tree looking absolutely fantastic. Green and I put this together super quickly using the scar dirt method, the most optimal way to make beautiful trees in Minecraft. It sounds like an infomercial. Take the Scar Dirt Method course and bring beautiful trees to your Minecraft worlds. Now you might be wondering, Scar, how are you and the Buttercups gonna get revenge on the stinky goat for the destruction of the Buttercup camp? Very unlive, laugh, love of Doc. And well, Green and I have a new operation inactive it's called Operation... Oh, you'll find out. And it is something nobody would ever guess to happen on Hermitcraft. It is time to start working on our build today. And as you can see, we are well underway in aging copper for the build. And we're probably going to have to do a couple rounds of all of this aging. And I've got a pretty clear picture on what I want to do today. There's a few areas that are a little fuzzy that I'm still trying to work out in my head, but I've got a pretty good foundation ready for this. So age the copper, get the rest of the resources, and then we build. Also, Pearl, the cleaning lady, is working on her build here in Scarland. As you know, she is on the payroll as the cleaning lady of Scarland. 32 diamonds a week, just like the future handyman. What in tarnation is going on here? I did leave the server for a day or two. Actually, it's been longer than that, but how is there so much copper? Is copper starting to... Okay, okay. I'm, I'm a little taken aback. It's been a longer than a few days. I've been off the server for about a week, but I have been aging and smelting in that time. Copper can't duplicate, can it? <laughs> Somebody must have saw that I was in a struggle bus to get enough copper and they came here and donated copper. That's very nice of them. Also, what the heck is that? Good morning. Oh. Time to rise and grind. What? Because only the early goat will not be left behind. What will you automate today so we can thrive together? Always remember, this is the goat's world. You just live in it. Oh my god, that was horrifying and terrifying at the same time. Whoa, that was like something out of Bioshock. Doc has really become a dictator of this perimeter. Wow. <laughs> okay, we may be against uh, Doc in this uh, prank war, but uh, that was really impressive. He he should be a voice narrator. I want to hear that again. <laughs> that both gave me shivers and excitement in weird ways. Wow. Anyway, the giant drag... Drag it? I thought that was made out of banners for a second. That is... That is... That is dragon eggs. Oh my gosh. I have never in all of my years seen something like this. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow, that is, <laughs> that is insane. I don't even know what to say. I want to touch it so bad, but I'm also afraid it may break the whole thing. So I will not touch it. 
I promise. I'll touch it in a few minutes when I find out if it's safe. Good night. <gasps> Before you lay your head to rest, ask oh yourself, God. did I grind enough to make the great goat leader proud? The answer is always, you could have done more. What the heck? That man is terrifying with those announcements. <laughs> Why can't we have announcements? It says buttercups. Man, the dear leader, Doc. <laughs> Hermocrat's very own dictator. <laughs> oh my gosh. Your great goat leader is grinding what? tirelessly for the progress of our glorious perimeter. <sighs> Are you? No. I hate you! Man, I thought this was all fun and games at the start. It's driving me crazy. It's every night. It's every morning. It's every, I think, every uh, afternoon or midnight. It's, it's relentless. <laughs> and there's multiple recordings at that. I'm super excited that Pearl has built her cleaning lady headquarters here in the backstage area. And look at how cool this looks. I the system of the great perimeter. <sighs> will have dire consequences. No, oh, you're gonna have dire consequences if I see you again, Doc. Oh, I'm gonna come after you. I'm gonna, oh wait, he's on this side. I'm gonna come after you, Doc. Anyway, check out her channel. This looks fantastic. Watch the video where she put this together. But in the clip, I gave her a second salary, which is 32 diamonds and a cleaning lady hat sweeping up poop. Look at that. Look at that, it's amazing. When you become an employee at Scarland, we take care of you. Progress is being made. As you can see, we've got a bit of a layout here. Now, one problem, I can't finish the layout until I clear out the forest because yeah, this forest is super dense and the size of this building just kept increasing, increasing in my mind. Now, the inspiration for this is a big grand train station, maybe something like Europe with a giant arch with wrought iron, but very colorful, roller coaster tycoon, if you will, inspired colors. So it's nice and bright and exciting to see all the bright colors when you're entering the park to get people excited and in the right mood. Now. We will be raising the building one block above the ground, hence the layout that I'm situating here to accommodate future landscaping. So it might look a little silly at first. Now, I do have a crafting and storage all set up here with some bright and punchy colors. Hopefully, that's kind of a roller coaster tycoon color palette. All right, time to clear this forest away and start building the entrance to Scarland to eventually open this park to the hermits and you. So, with that, my friends, let's hit super fast build mode. super fast build mode and our entrance to Scarland is now complete and that roof was nearly the end of me the amount of oxidized copper I needed was insane and I I'll admit it I way overdid that roof but big thanks to Azuma for helping me get more copper from David Copperfield but look at that once we get that all cleared out with the oxidation, it's going to look absolutely fantastic. And as I mentioned before, I really wanted to have that fun roller coaster tycoon vibe to it. And I think we achieved that. I think we got that with the colors and it's got that uh, train station vibe as you're kind of transitioning from the Hermitcrafty world into Scar's little kingdom here. And uh, I love it. I love it. So on this side here, we have a little thank you message. Oh, 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 oh. oh. What? 
Did that scare me? Why? Why did an ally freak me out like that? <laughs> Where did you even come from? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm all alone on the server right now, so that extra scared me. Anyway, where was I? Cupola, we got cool flags, we got great stainless steel. That's not stainless steel, that's stained glass. That thing really discombobulated me. Okay, I regained my composure after being freaked out by an ally, but look at how cool that looks at night with the stained glass glowing, the flags blowing in the breeze. That clearly wasn't the first time a creeper's blown up in that little spot. <laughs> but anyway, look at this. We got our thank you message for visiting Illuminated there. And eventually we'll have some really cool plant life around here. And we're about to hire our redstone handyman. Have you guessed who it is? I'm about to message them and I'll let you know who it is in just a second. But we'll get that all installed where they'll come in here and make us a super cool automated turnstile system. And of course, on the outside here, we have the Scarland message. And yeah, I'm super happy with this. And I hope at least one of you out there realizes how precise everything in Scarland is. It all lines up perfectly from the entrance to the flagpole, to the line of track going down Main Street, to our little statue of Jelly and I, to the golden spike right in the center of the castle, all perfectly lined up. The wait is over. Time to announce the great and powerful new redstone handyman of Scarland. They're online. I have a special hat, as you can see, made out and... Shut up, Doc! I'm, I'm trying to talk to the viewers about the redstone handyman! You leave me alone! Yeah, I'll thrive you into the ground. Anyway, hi. Hello, how are you? That's right. Impulse. No. Oh, shoot. What button is it? Oh, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> Impulse is the handyman of Scarlet now. You know, hence the beard, of course. Now, I told him to meet me here at the Redstone Engineering Office, and there he is. Impulse. Yeah. Step into the office here. Okay. A few weeks back, you met me on a live stream where you showed promise, great promise to becoming the Redstone Handyman here in Scarland. You I even did. took the initiative to watch the Imagineering story on Disney Plus to fully engross yourself in all things theme park engineering. And I did. you went above and the beyond. You learned who the legend, the one, the only Bob Gurr was. Bob Gurr, I was gonna say, let's say it together, Bob Gurr. Bob Gurr, a man that has his own <laughs> martini named after him, who designed the monorail, the omnibus, uh -huh. the fire truck, the autopia, the people mover, omni mover system. All it goes things. on and on and on. Yeah. Accolades. This man is 90 years old and he is still strutting around like he's 20 years old. That's right. Dude knows how to cut a rug. I saw that. You impressed me, Impulse. You greatly impressed me. Yeah. Okay. And that means you, Impulse, are now the official <gasps> Redstone Handyman of Scarland. I get the job? You get the job. Oh, amazing. Oh my gosh, you even got it so I can wear the beard and the hat at the same time. And it's got oh, a I little redstone. It's got a little redstone on the side of it too. Yeah. And a jelly, and a jelly on that side, redstone on that side. If I do it real quick, I can see it. Jelly, redstone. <laughs> little jelly, of course, is the mascot here at Scarland. That's awesome, thanks. I, I'm, I'm ready for this. I've been practicing like, you said how you wanted the gates to work, so I threw together a quick little test redstone contraption in my industrial district just to make sure I could make it happen. And guess what? I sure did. I you sure did it. whatever you need. I didn't actually care about that. I only cared that you looked up Bob Gurr and watched the Imagineering special. <laughs> oh, okay. I did. Oh, yep. I can learn redstone later. No. <laughs> Redstone's a secondary That's issue here in the park. Yeah. You can, can decorate we? this entire thing however you see fit and... Even up there? Even oh, up yeah, whatever you want. There? Everything. Okay. All right, also, cool. 32 diamonds. Never forget the 32 diamonds of salary. 32 diamonds a week. And, of course, week. of course, grab some Scarland memorabilia. Oh, yeah, all the goodies. All the goodies. Oh, I love it. I'm Scarland. already putting you to work, by the way. I'm, I'm ready. I've been it's ready. It's time for that turnstiles. Let's go over there. Please excuse... Sitting around. <laughs> Please excuse the construction. That is why we wear okay. hard hats. That's after all, we are creating okay. a great big beautiful tomorrow, and this is the entrance to Scarland. It's, oh, it's a mess. It's coming along. It's massive. Nice. Oh God, oh, oh, Doc! I hate your face. You are a you stupid dictator. Did I grind enough? <sighs> what is, 
<laughs> what is happening with these announcements, Scar? This is not part of Scarland, is it? Dude, I thought it was fun in games at one point. And I was like, oh, Doc's so funny. He should be a voice actor. And now it's driving me crazy. I hate it. Uh, I, it's gone off. That's the third time since I got here. It's, so it's gone off. I just hate it so oh, much. Scar. Anyway. Uh, I would sleep the night away, but I know there's another announcement in the morning. Yeah, I just don't to, do I don't it. I want it to happen. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's the plan. Probably in the center of here, we do maybe two or four turnstiles going into the park two to four turnstiles okay yeah. so this is the actual floor of the building is this block right here you can see ah, how it's okay. risen the foundation is yep. risen by one block that's just to accommodate yep, yep. flower beds in the future so uh -huh. this is the actual floor of gotcha. the building and the Perfect. requirements as always are we have two different tickets one vip ticket and one standard ticket the one standard ticket will get disposed of and the vip ticket will always be given back as people go right. in and out of the turnstiles is that gonna work yep. it's gonna work yes. yep i've already tested that it's it's just a matter of how grand we want the actual entrance redstone to be because in testing i just like lowered a piston and you walk through kept it real simple just mm -hmm. for you know just to prove that we could do it yeah but we could do something fancier if you want something a little fancy sound effect than that. maybe 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 like a sound maybe effect? sound effects maybe. absolutely maybe. little chime mm -hmm. oh i'm so excited oh and, it, oh, and if, if if they throw in the wrong thing like not a real ticket because you know sometimes people try to fake tickets to get in all and the we're time we're gonna spot that right away we're gonna reject that and we're going to make them feel silly for even trying yes how's that sound oh i i love it oh that's that sounds amazing what's your favorite bob Gurr attraction you know what i do love i do love the matterhorn oh a fabulous choice i love it well yeah. done well it's this guy ride. this is oh, why this guy's got the job got guys the kids coming in. no 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 the park the doesn't accept in. children you know he learned trigonometry just to build that roller coaster because he he didn't even know how to do trigonometry he didn't learn in high school so so when he got asked to to design a roller coaster he's like okay i'll just learn trigonometry what a, what an amazing dude this is why he has the job this man did his <laughs> homework did his research mm -hmm. that's right every time we achieve a new milestone i just get so excited the entrance to the park is about 90% done, and it makes me so, so happy. And make sure you send Impulse a warm, warm welcome as the new employee here in Scarland, as employee number two. And I cannot wait to see what he devises for the entrance to the park here. And I'm just so excited. Like I said, it's a huge milestone to see this complete. And of course, in our next episode, not only will we enact our revenge upon our dear leader, Doc, but also we will open Scarland. Scarland will officially open for hermits to enter, to find snacks and souvenirs. And that means that we now move into phase two of Scarland, where we start building rides and themed lands and I cannot wait for that. So until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to subscribe, because you may just become scared for life. Out.